And DITV News Director Ashley has more on what else happened inside and outside the Iowa Memorial Union Wednesday night. People are filling up seats here in the IMU Main Lounge as they wait to see Matt Walsh speak. Meanwhile, other people are outside in the IMU and outside in Hubbard Park protesting. Protesters lined up alongside Walsh's lecture attendees, shouting chants and holding up signs. However, the evening did not start with these chants and yelling. I actually think it's really beautiful. I love the fact that most of us are just kind of sitting around and chatting and not really like talking about what's going on. People within the LGBTQ plus community, along with allies, came to Hubbard Park to peacefully protest in support for the transgender community. I just personally felt like a little guilty just kind of watching everything happen around me while I never engaged in it. I'm here and I'm actively supporting for it. However, once attendees for the lecture started showing up, the chants began. Throughout the lecture and as attendees began to exit the lecture, protesters began moving to Madison Street and blocking cars. I think it's crazy. I think people should be able to come here, whether it's on the left or right, speak. That's ridiculous that we gotta do this. That's not peaceful. I can't get out. Protesters continue to chant in opposition to Walsh, along with messages of support for the transgender community. Band members even came out to play along and start some chants and songs. The main takeaway, I think, is this is a celebration of love and that you matter. And it'll, it'll be okay. It'll, hopefully it'll get better and you know, we'll continue to voice our opinion and they might try to shut us down, but you know, they won't silence us. I really hope that all the members, YF members and other people in Matt Walsh realize that we're not going anywhere anytime soon. From the IMU Main Lounge, this is Ashley Wheel, DITV.